The third day of the Amman Cup dawned with its usual intense heat and an expectation of 6 to 11 knots of breeze. Each event has its own set of challenges for the crews to overcome, and good teamwork is crucial. Artemis Racing has some strong crew credentials, including double Olympic gold medalist Ian Percy, who takes care of tactics for the team. It's been my first full season sailing the RC44 and I enjoyed it a lot. You know, it's a new bunch of guys for me. Most of the time I'm with the America's Cup crew, but uh, really great blokes and sailing with Torbjorn has been fun. And it's rare for to get so much access to your America's Cup team owner and here we're relaxed, we're enjoying ourselves and you get to uh, debate the issues in the Cup team at the same time as enjoying the racing. It seems an enjoyable and relaxed atmosphere can pay dividends on the race course, if the first race of the day was anything to go by. Artemis were first to the top mark, rounding with ease, followed by Team Aqua. It was disaster for Peninsula Petroleum, who incurred a penalty for hitting the mark and struggled to get round. By the final downwind, Artemis had extended their lead considerably and cruised down to the finish, tailed by Team Aqua, who came in second. We did have a very good day yesterday and um, winning the first race, uh, the way we did it, it was uh, good boat speed, good communication, crew work and uh, that's the way to win it. In the next race, Katusha were out in front, but Charisma found some good breeze on the second upwind and snatched the lead, which they maintained to the finish. In the final race, it was Team Aqua's time to shine. They led the fleet around the course, breezed along the final downwind and were first across the finish line, securing a win and inching ever closer to that championship title. Good day out there. We had two, an eight and a one. Started off well, we had a little bit of a hitch in the middle. Bad start. The last race, we got a good start and clean, clean sail all the way around. So that was a really good day. Boat was going well. Team Nika may not have won any races today, but their consistency here means they're currently leading the Amman Cup. But in the fight for the championship title, Peninsula Petroleum and Brennaneset have a lot to do if they want to bag a podium spot. Whilst Charisma have already posted some good results, which keeps them in the running as we head into the penultimate day of racing tomorrow. <laughs>